Don't miss New England Hockey Journal, the only show for hockey players and parents. Behind the scenes features, equipment, skills, conditioning, and more. It's New England Hockey Journal, Saturday mornings at 9, only on Comcast Sportsnet New England. Hockey is a game of tradition. It is passed from generation to generation, parent to child, ingraining itself into the lives of those exposed to it. It manifests itself in many ways, from the families who cherish those winter weekends filled with games, to the elite programs committed to a tradition of excellence. Through hockey, we are taught to compete and respect those we compete against. We are taught the value of winning and the virtue of losing. We are taught how to be the best hockey players possible and how to be even better people. At Avon Old Farms, they take this to heart. The winged beavers are the embodiment of the prep school hockey tradition where excellence in the locker room meets excellence in the classroom. They are taught to aspire and to persevere and to above all, carry their tradition to the next generation. Hi, we're here at Avon Old Farms. In this episode, we'll hit the gym with Calgary Flames prospect, Bill Arnold visit FMC Ice Sports, and get some nutrition tips from Julie Nicoletti. Then we'll head to Monkey Sports Superstore to check out the latest goalie equipment. I'm Kelsey Schelling, and this is New England Hockey Journal. Located in Central Connecticut, Avon Old Farms is an all-boys prep school with a rich tradition in hockey. Winning an all-time best eight New England Prep Division I championships and sending numerous alumni to the college and professional level, Avon is at the pinnacle of New England prep hockey. Obviously Avon has a, a really great tradition. I know my dad played here, a couple of my uncles played here. So it's kind of been in the family for me, so I've seen it firsthand really, that throughout history we've always had great teams at Avon, and hockey's kind of always been Avon's premier sport. Notable alumni include Hall of Famer, Stanley Cup champion, and Conn Smythe winner Brian Leach and two-time Stanley Cup champion, Conn Smythe winner, and current Los Angeles King, Jonathan Quick. Because of those guys, obviously uh, the tradition's great. You've seen the banners on the wall, there's a bunch of them. We're just trying to make some more. After a long winter break, the team heads back to practice to prepare for an important home game against rival Taft. It was a tough week of practice, I can tell you that much. We uh, we skated a lot, got back into shape. Kids that couldn't skate that much over break got right back into it, so I feel that uh, we were ready, maybe a step behind where we were, but we're getting back. Let's go to the net, let's have a net presence, right? Let's keep it simple. In his 40th year at Avon, Coach John Gardner is approaching a milestone. He is only two wins away from 700 career wins all of which he obtained as a winged beaver. Those are just personal achievements and it's, and it's really about the team, so I don't go there. How do I feel? I feel, it makes you feel old. It's like, <laughs> it makes you feel old because, oh, you got 700 wins, oh, you must be great. You know, if you've been around a long time and if you had good teams, then you're gonna get a lot of wins. Oh boy, way to work, way to work, way to work. Playing for Coach Gardner is it's honestly an honor. He's the winningest coach in prep school history. He's coming up on his 700th win. We're hoping to get there pretty soon. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Everything he says, you have to really let soak in and really think about it, because he's been doing this for so many years, and you know, you got to listen to him. He's, he knows what he's talking about, and he's doing it right, and if you don't listen, you're only hurting yourself. Senior forward and brother-in-law of Avon legend Jonathan Quick Brett Backman is mic'd up for practice. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll take that. Being mic'd during practice was definitely fun. Yeah, oh my god, you gotta bury those. I got to chirp kids and not exactly get chirped back. We're here with Hamden All-Star, Tyler Carangelo. Tyler, what made you want to come to Avon? Well, you know, obviously Coach Gardner is something special. Of course. Uh, he, uh, he's got a couple screws loose, of course, but everybody loves it. Everybody loves him. Yeah! Rebound, rebound! a boy, back eight. a boy. Beat tap on three. One, two, three. Beat tap! After practice, the team heads over to the refectory for a school-wide dinner. Yeah, we kind of all always just head over to the refectory, which is our dining hall, and uh, eat together. It kind of builds team team bonding and um, work on the camaraderie of our team. And that's that's kind of been a big part of it. We all live so close together all the time, so that really helps our team chemistry, being we have so many boarders on the team who are constantly, 24 hours, we're together. It's a very traditional family-style dinner. We all have to stand up until we hear the bell rings and the headmaster speaks. Then we sit down, and everybody has their own job. Yeah. That was me. I'll get, get, the, I'll get, I'll get the napkins. As associate headmaster, Coach Gardner joins them. My main job is to help these boys become um, men and to help to mold their character. It's, it's your job to make sure that uh, the, when the kids graduate from Avon O Farms that they're, they're good kids and they're going to go on and do good things and they're going to be good citizens and they're going to contribute to society and, and that's what teaching's all about and coaching is probably the, 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 one of the purest forms of teaching. It's exams week at Avon so senior captain Brendan Ash heads to study hall at the nearby Ordway Science Center. It's a challenge, it's a lot. It's combining academics, obviously, with the athletics. So you're not just a hockey player, you're not just focusing on hockey. You have a lot of school responsibilities. Like right now, we're in the middle of exams. So you have a lot of that, and you have to deal with a lot of outside stuff. You learn how to deal with stress and with responsibility and with trying to balance things. So I think it really prepares you well for later in life. We're here at Monkey Sports Superstore with 6,000 square feet of goalie equipment. Hey, Wack. Hey, Kels. Uh, nothing screams more to the iconic nature of the goaltending position than a mask, right? And uh, no one likes getting hit in the face, so stop it. So we're going to talk about the nuts and bolts of the importance of a mask, what goes into one. Let's get right into it. Lead the way. Let's talk about masks. Let's talk about masks. Um, this is probably the most important purchase you'll make as a goalie. Um, this is the thing that really draws a lot of us in from the get-go. You look at that person in that, in that crease and they're wearing that mask. It's like, what is that? I, get, I need to do that. That was me. That was a lot of my goalie buddies were drawn to it just by this piece of equipment that you're wearing. So the biggest thing to note is there's two kind of basic schools of thought with goalie masks in terms of the materials. This is a polycarbonate that you're holding. This is an enemy 5. Polycarbonate's a fancy word for plastic, Kelsey. It's more or less a softer mold. Um, it's not as expensive to produce. You'll typically see a kid playing up to maybe peewee level hockey in a poly and then they kind of trans, they kind of transfer over to a fiberglass mold. So when you get into something that's a, a full glass based or something that's based out of entirely Kevlar or carbon fiber, you get much more uh, rigid properties built into the mask. It's more structurally sound. It's gonna keep you a lot safer out there. But more importantly than all of these things is fit. You could have a thousand dollar mask that fits like absolute crap. You're not gonna be that safe out there. So different cage types play into it. Straight bars, cat eyes. Um, some are safer. Some have better sight lines. Um, it just depends on what's the best fit for where you're playing and what you're allowed to get away with. So um, these are things to think about. But the personality of a mask when you start with a blank canvas like that and you end up with something cool like this, it's, it definitely allows us to identify ourselves as individuals on the ice. Um, we're kind of given that uh, carte blanche to kind of do so. Um, this is my own personal Bauer 961. I've never felt safer in a mask out there. I've got to personally paint it to what I want. This is The Shining. We're talking red rum. It's very scary. I love it. Uh, it's got my doggy on the back. I couldn't be happier with it. But um, come on down, get fitted. Um, fit is everything in a mask. We have more than you can imagine to choose from, from every price point, every size imaginable. Um, this is the place to do it. Come on on a monkey. Coming up next, we'll try out some new drills at FMC Ice Sports. Stick around.
just blew their minds. It's just crazy that this is like the car. I was just it. The 2015 Nissan Altima with blind spot warning and zero gravity seats. Lease today, just $189 per month or get 0% APR for up to 60 months. Altima, from the most fuel efficient lineup in America. Wow. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Nissan, innovation that excites. Whether it's on the ice or in the classroom, what path will you take to realize your dreams? It's about knowing your options. Make the educated decision. Join the USHL. Don't miss New England Ski Journal, airing Tuesday nights at 9 on Comcast Sportsnet New England. New England Ski Journal takes you behind the scenes at a different New England ski resort every month. And you also get a look at the latest ski gear from summer ski and snowboard. Winter's here, and so is the New England Ski Journal. Hi, I'm here with Sean Kennedy of FMC Ice Sports. Hey, Sean. Hey, Kelsey. Today we're going to go over the intricacies of the penalty kill. Let's kill some penalties. Right, Sean, what are you going to do here? Today we're going to show the boys how to kill a penalty. Killing a penalty is all about hard work and desire. We want to outwork our opponent, get the puck out of our zone, and get back to full strength. How do we set it up? So we're going to set up the box. We have two forwards up top, right there, two defensemen down low. We want to have active sticks. We're going to keep our head on a swivel so we know where our opponents are at all times. We want to take away the middle of the ice and maintain the shape of the box. Keep the puck right out on the perimeter. Get the puck, ice it, biggest important thing, make sure we don't screen Stevie, our goalie. Sound good, boys? Yeah. It's Saturday in Avon, Connecticut, and that means one thing, it's game day. Coach Gardner meets with coaches Leon Haywood and Brian Doyle to review game film and talk about today's game against Taft. Hopefully we'll uh, do something today. Give us our goals and play like we need to play. I mean, uh, it's, it's funny, I think we have, I think we have talent. We're just... We just need confidence. We yeah, have, we, have, we, have, we have talent. We have a great goal. A lot of people. I mean, a lot of people are like, "You guys aren't very good." You are. I go. I think we're better. I think we're better. But you could get into a funk because some teams are like, you know, other teams. So I don't know which way. We need to turn it around somehow, and we don't have anybody just going to say, "Hey, here it is." A couple things, guys. Before we go out there today. I want you to think about a couple things. First thing, who are you playing for? You're playing for the guys in the room. You're playing for your teammates. You're playing for the school. Okay? You're a hockey team. And we need to play with passion. All I'm asking you is that when you go out there, you're not afraid to make a mistake. We're going to make mistakes. Everybody's going to make mistakes. And we're going to have some adversity. We've had a lot of adversity. And it's how you respond to that. It's how you come back. It's how you handle that. It's just, you know, you take a dumb penalty, we do something stupid, right? Everybody does dumb things. But respond to it, right? Respond to it. Step up your game. 
compete, be an athlete. That's what we're asking you, to play today with passion. You need to have passion. If you're a hockey player, you better have passion. You better want it. You better like it, because that's why you're playing the game. Not playing, you're not playing the game because it makes you a lot of money. You're playing the game because you like it. And that's why you're here today. Avon gets off to a fast start with a goal from postgraduate Cameron Klein. As the first period comes to an end, junior Dan Winslow scores. Putting the winged beavers up two, heading into the first intermission. After the break, Calgary Flames prospect Bill Arnold shows us a few of his favorite exercises. Stay tuned. Monkey Sports Superstore. Offering the largest selections on top lines from Bauer, like Vapor APX2 Sticks, React Helmets, Supreme Total One NXG Gloves, and NXG Skates. Whether you're a beginner or a pro, gear up with New England's largest selection of hockey, baseball, and lacrosse equipment from the biggest inventory and best prices at the Monkey Sports Superstore in Norwood or online at monkeysports.com slash Norwood. FMC iSports, our Learn to Skate and Play beginner programs encourage kids to develop their skills through competition, teamwork, fitness, and fun. My dream is to be the best skater I can be. And my dream is to get you there. Programs available throughout Massachusetts. Call 888-74-SKATE or visit fmcisports.com. We're here at Edge Performance Systems. Today I'm with Bill Arnold from the Calgary Flames. Hey Bill. How's it going? Good. Today Bill's going to show us a few of his favorite exercises. Let's go. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Worth a shot. All right, I know this is your least favorite exercise, but you gotta do it. All right. We're gonna do 10 seconds. You think you can handle it? I think so. I think you can. All right. All right, ready, set, go. Nice, starting strong, that's good. Don't forget to breathe. Yeah, seriously. Keep your chest up. Eight, nine, 10, you're done. Awesome. How do you feel? Not too bad. Good. Definitely not one of my favorites, though. A minute into the second, Taft gets on the board. Try to center the score! Halfway through the second period, Taft ties the game at 2-2. They quickly Two, score Robert, Robert, again. And around Jadovich, and he scores! And again. Avon's two-goal lead turns into a two-goal deficit heading into the second intermission. The second period, I kind of thought we got into a lot of penalty trouble, and that started to take off our momentum. Usually when we start to lose a game, it's because we're getting in penalty trouble, and it's kind of ruining the flow of our lines. So I felt like that happened. So maybe if we had stayed more disciplined in that period, uh, we would have been a little bit more successful. All of a sudden, you know, you go from a two-goal lead to a two-goal deficit. And, uh... It wasn't, uh, it wasn't a pretty period for us. It was a frustrating period. We all know the position we're in. We all know that we're not meeting expectations right now. We were definitely just like, we, that we need to get back into this game. And that was, the, that was the feeling in here. And we did. The Nutrition Minute's coming up next. Stick around.
Black Bear Lodge is an all-sweet hotel in Waterville Valley, New Hampshire. Explore. Discover. Play. Dine out. Or dine in. Book today and build your memories of the Black Bear Lodge in Waterville Valley, New Hampshire. Did you know you can receive New England Hockey Journal the magazine every month for free on any electronic device? Log on to HockeyJournal.com slash free. From New Englanders and the pros, Bruins, college hockey, juniors, preps, high school, equipment buyers guides, and much more. So what are you waiting for? Join the New England Hockey Journal team now. New England Hockey Journal is your source for everything hockey in New England. It's time for the Nutrition Minute. I'm here with Julie Nicoletti from Kinetic Fuel. Today we're going to learn the difference between food and nutrition. That's right, Kelsey. Food and nutrition are not one and the same. Food is anything that satisfies hunger, whereas nutrition is what fuels a player's performance and keeps them healthy. So there are some foods that are processed that might come in a crinkly bag or a cardboard box. Right. Not the best choices. Nutrition should be beautifully packaged by nature in shells, skins, and peels. That sounds more appealing anyway. Absolutely. Open your refrigerator when you're looking for a snack or a meal. Avon needs to start strong in the third if they have any hope of getting back into the game. A minute into the period, Taft scores a deflating goal. They now lead 5-2. The winged beavers are in trouble. Avon starts to build some momentum. Taft commits a double minor, putting Avon on an extended power play. Junior Tyler Carangelo takes advantage and scores. The winged beavers remain on the power play. Carangelo comes through again and scores his second of the game. For the score! Avon now trails by just one goal with 14 minutes left. The winged beavers are surging. responds and puts the game away at 6-4. And, we'll and, and that was sort of like, you know, that, that really uh, was a death blow. Good thing is we came back, we showed some heart, we showed some fire a lot of good chances that we didn't finish. The bad thing is, um, we didn't secure our net. We didn't secure it, okay? Um, you know, we gave them a couple goals. You give up six goals, you're not gonna win many friggin' hockey games. You give us four goals, and I say we're probably gonna win most hockey games. Need to work harder. Need to work harder, fellas. Need to work harder, we need to be in better shape. We need to be tougher. Mentally and physically, that's what it's all about. Avon loses a hard-fought game and continues on its mid-season slide. I think we just we fell short. We couldn't get uh, we couldn't get that one bounce we needed to tie the game up. And then we just we had our chances. We had plenty of chances, some breakaways, and we just couldn't we couldn't bury it. But if we had, it would have been a completely different game. However, all is not lost. The Winged Beavers are set to play Hotchkiss in a few days and are close to helping their coach set a career milestone. It's hard because you gotta go out there and there's a lot of competition and a lot of prep schools think hockey is important and a lot of schools are doing a lot of recruiting. But you know, I hope that we'll continue to, to have good hockey teams here and that kids will 
have good experiences playing for Avon Old Farms and, and going to school here. I mean, my job as a coach is to is to work with those kids and try to make them better. And uh, at the same time, try to teach them some life lessons. As Avon Old Farms continues on their season, one thing is apparent. This team may not contribute to the rich winning tradition Coach Gardner has created, and they may not raise a banner like the teams that have come before them. But that does not mean they aren't adding to the Avon tradition. Every time they lace up their skates and pull on that winged beaver jersey, they are a part of something greater than themselves. If they compete their hardest, study to the best of their ability, and be the best young men they can be, they will pass on the Avon Old Farms tradition. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching New England Hockey Journal. I'm Kelsey Schelling, and I'll see you at the rink.